Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be cutting my new hair extensions. These are from the brand Foxy Locks. I recently ordered these. I got the Seamless Deluxe 20 inch in Latte Blonde and I have them in right now and as you can see they obviously need to be cut but it's a really good match for my hair shape so this is or for my natural hair shade so this is my natural hair mixed in and I didn't have to dye them at all. They just like naturally matched with what I already had. So I'm gonna be following a video I found on YouTube and I will link that video down below if you'd like to see it. Um, and I just went to Sally Beauty Supply and picked up this Cricut Silk Comb and these Oster, these are just really cheap, but just wanted to get hair scissors so that I could cut through my hair and have it not look terrible. So. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to be following along with this video, so hopefully we can get these ends looking a little bit less artificial. So the first technique that she is teaching us in this video is sliding. And she's brushing the hair forward. It says, locate the short pieces of your natural hair by brushing through with your comb. This will indicate where to start cutting the extensions. So I'm going to take these clips out and pull everything forward and start on this side brushing forward we're supposed to be finding the short pieces of our hair so I would say that's like here and then this is when you should start cutting I'm terrified you guys really hope this doesn't look bad so she just like cuts in a slow diagonal motion cutting the entire time so I'm going to do very little bit of this because I don't really want the front of my hair to be super feathered. I actually really don't want to do that at all. We're going to do like the tiniest amount of this because I'm not really feeling that. better. I'm going to do just a tiny bit on the other side. I really don't want to do like any of this feathering, but I feel like it's necessary, but I don't like having a like layered effect. It's not really what I'm going for. If anyone is watching this and you're like a professional hairdresser, please don't come for me. I did not go to cosmetology school. I'm not claiming that I know what I should be doing here. I just wanted to cut my own hair extensions, so this is what we're doing. Okay, I feel like that's fine. I don't really want to do any more sliding. I'm going to do just a little bit more because she did it a little bit more like in the front, like first chunk of the hair, and I felt like that made it look good and less obvious that they were extensions. So I'm just doing this right here on the ends. I've got hair everywhere got a towel on my lap trying to catch all this. Okay. I'm trying to keep this in frame but also like not mess up my hair. So okay. Oh that does look good. Can't really see. Okay, that's better. I'm just gonna raise myself up so that you can see what we've got going on. I'm gonna take this side now. I'm impressed because these are cutting pretty well even when I use my left hand. The next thing that she is teaching us is point cutting. And she says we are Point cutting feathers the ends of the hair and aims to get rid of any blunt lines. So she's holding the ends like this and then cutting into them. I'm going to go ahead and feather these ends out a little bit. And I think what I'm going to do to do that is work in two chunks and bring this forward. So you can see these are kind of like splaying out like that. Do have my straightener. Just gonna go over these lightly. I 
I that's one thing that I really do like about these is that they are real hair so you can use hot tools on them. I'm not really a fan of synthetic hair just personally for myself because I want to be able to use heat on it and you can't do that with synthetic hair so for me and the look that I'm going for see this is coming out a little bit I feel like this is like revealing like when Santa takes off his wit his beard it's me hiding my extension tracks okay just straighten everything out just so we can see I love these, you guys. The color is great. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do first is kind of cut these bluntly in a straight line. And then we're going to point cut. I'm going to do quite a bit of this because I do really feel like these are very obviously extensions and I want to free it up a little bit. Okay. I'm going to do the same with the back section. Now you see how it's like this. I'm just going to lob off that so that it is straight and then go in like this and point cut. And I'm just going to keep point cutting pretty much until the end of time. I think we need to just do one... I think we need to cut off some length here. So I'm going to just do it. Okay. So I took off like half an inch there. Kind of put us back at square one. So I'm going to take this and feather in with the point cutting now. That's looking a lot better. You can see that and see the difference. Um, kind of want to do some more. Watch, I'm going to just keep going and then eventually this is just going to be a bob. Story of my life. Let's see, I definitely want them to be like boob length, so I don't want to go any shorter than that. At least not with the point cutting. So kind of to like keep myself in check now I'm pulling down and kind of keeping myself <laughs> in check so that I can't go too high with the point cutting. Making sure to trim off anything that's like extra long and out of the norm with everything else. Yeah, that looks really good. I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two sides together to make sure that I get the right length. So I'm just going to look straight ahead, pull them together, see where the one side is shorter than the other, lob that off, and then start point cutting happy with the way that looks. I do see that she like pulls from the back a little bit with her point cutting right at the end. So she like pulled this like kind of at an angle. She's using the technique of slithering to create a more tapered look throughout the hair rather than the front layers. I want to do very minimal of that as well. I like the thickness of these. 
so she is, instead of from the side, take your scissors straight down the middle section and use the same slicing technique. I think of all the techniques, this is probably the most, like, stressful for me. Because I just feel like this is the one that takes a little bit more skill. Okay, I think that's pretty darn good. I don't think she used any other techniques. I'm looking now. She did the other side. She says, when using the slicing technique, you can also overdirect the hair by pulling it to the opposite side to further extend, to further layer the extension. So she's pulling it over and sliding it this way. Interesting. I think I'm going to do that here, like on the back pieces. Oh yeah, that's good. See how that just kind of like made it look more like natural hair? Mama like. This doesn't freak me out as much to cut my hair because I used to cut my hair a lot in high school. So I think I'm just less intimidated by it because I've cut my hair before. But if you're not comfortable cutting your own hair or your own extensions, definitely find a salon. I'm just out here wilding because why not? And I'm playing it safe, so. Okay. So I've straightened it and gone through a little bit more and done a little bit more sliding. And then the last technique she shows is blunt cutting just on the ends just to make everything look polished I'm doing just the tiniest amount of that. On the very, very ends. But not like undoing all the layering that I just did. Okay, so I'm very happy with how this turned out already. I feel like the hair doesn't look like it's like swallowing me anymore. It looks a lot more natural very happy. So I'm going to go ahead and curl it now, just a soft wave throughout, because that's pretty much how I am going to be wearing these. I don't really plan on wearing my hair straight. I don't really like wearing my hair straight in general. I like, always like it with just a gentle wave, so I will do that. And I'm just going to speed it up so you can see that.
Okay, so this is it all curled. I feel like it looks really good. I'm very happy with the way it turned out. Yeah, I really don't have much else to say. I have to learn how to play with my bangs a little bit. This clip right here makes it a little bit difficult, but overall, not bad. So, I hope you guys liked this video. I just thought it would be fun to record it and show you me cutting my extensions, and I was very pleased to see that it didn't turn out to be a total disaster, so I will be recording a few other videos today, so yeah. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!